No writing. This is um, attempt on getting this tractor to cool a little better. Uh, I figured I'd start with something really simple. Um, I read a couple of threads online that if these tractors wasn't exactly full on antifreeze, they would run a little hot. Another one was the clutch fans are weak. Another one was that if the radiator, the cooler, was not clean clean, that it would do that. So what I did is I'm just going to start with this. Now I filled the cooling up. I got me some uh, degunker stuff for radiators and stuff, and I sprayed it in, in between there. I came around here, sprayed it in there. Water passes through the radiator really good <clears throat> so I'm just now putting it back together um, the stuff you spray on there and you wait 15 minutes and it foams and does all its stuff and you spray it out until the water is clear which took quite a bit because you might be able to hear or see it's still pouring water <clears throat> anyways I'm putting the battery back in um, I put tape over the positive in case it would ever slide in against this. Um, I've had them get against metal and they get hot in a hurry. I mean, they will absolutely start welding themselves. So I put that on there just for a little safety measure. And I might have said this before, but when I put this on, I had to cut the ends of it off. Because this isn't a John Deere battery. And Snappa, it's what come in the tractor. And I'm guessing, as you can see, pins are leaning. But if I had it to where I needed to be, it'd be against the terminals. But if it had been a John Deere battery, the post would have been set probably back here, and it could all have been set up straight in between this. So I got that tightened back down. <clears throat> got that taped. And we're gonna put this back on. Yeah, I might have said last time that I dropped it and broke a lot, and I did. I'm probably repeating myself, but there it is. And if I didn't say this last time, I'm going to say it, but if I said it last time, I'm going to say it again. These right here go in these right here. See the big opening hole they slide right in there so save yourself a lot of time and aggravation on trying to get all the holes lined up so just just loosen them up a little bit so they fit right in there and slide it on there so that's what I'm gonna do okay and it took two hands to do that really need three but you can see make sure they're all in their groove on both sides see right there and you can see right there I had to tape this up just to keep it off the radiator because it wanted to lean in against this cooler radiator whatever you want to call them it's for the air conditioner and thinking hydraulic yes so I just taped that there so it wouldn't lean against that and Rub a flat spot in this or rub a hole through that and cause all kinds of fun stuff. So there you go. And uh, takes an Allen wrench. Pretty simple. Here comes Nemo. He didn't come in. Him and Buttercup didn't come in for their bottle this morning. Yeah, I figure you want it now. Well, as you can see, it is pouring the rain. I did just in time got everything put back together in the tractor. Got the hood on, side panels on, side bar to the car. You can see, let me zoom in here for you if I can. You can barely see the next bridge over to me. I'm 
Taylor, if y'all can tell, it is pouring rain. I'm sure you can hear it. Grinding my gutters over. You can see. That's how hard it's raining. It's four inch guttering. So, after that, um, I hope. I hope it was an easy fix for the overheating part. We shall see. Um, so, yeah. Sorry. If that doesn't do it, I guess um, we'll go to the thermostat and then the fan, clutch fan. Look at all that water. Look how hard it's raining. Four inch guttering to five inch pipe. If he. Anyway, you can see the water up on the road now. You know, the buttercup are getting a bath. So thanks for watching. Feel free to comment. Feel free to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. We'll catch you a little later. Thanks for watching and come on back till next time. Thanks again. Had to come back and show you this. I mean, it is flat pouring rain. All that water is going underneath my house. All the water coming down the road. It hasn't let up. It's been, I don't know, 15 minutes. Yeah. 10 minutes, a good 10 minutes. And it really don't show any signs of letting up for a while. Oh well. I just figured I'd share that with you again. See you a little later. May have to get on the arc.